When you use the job tread schedule, you have the ability to set up custom views so you can view your tasks in various formats while leveraging filters and task views. So here we're viewing the Gantt view of all of our tasks for this job, and it's quite an extensive list. But you can also leverage these filters up top here, and so we can say, I just want to see tasks assigned to me, or maybe myself and one other person in the company. Let's choose Dan here. And then we can also then limit our tasks as well by certain task types. So if I just wanted to see all of my sales related tasks, I'm gonna leverage my sales task types here. And I just want to see the sales tasks that are assigned to myself or Dan, for example. And here they all are. Now, when I use these filters, I could also change the view of this so I can view just the list of all of these tasks or the month view of all of these tasks. And this kind of becomes my sales schedule for this job, for example. And maybe I would like to then save what I'm viewing here so I can always revisit it for any job that I do. So I can click on this gear icon and then you'll notice that my filter is carried over. I can also add additional filters or groupings if I need to. So here I can say, I just wanna see my incomplete tasks as well. And then I can choose to save and override the existing view that I'm looking at, but this is my Gantt view, so I probably don't want to save over that. So I'll just go ahead and click save as and save a new view for myself. So this could be um, incomplete job, um, maybe incomplete sales calendar. All right, and then I'll hit OK, and that now sa saves this in my personal views. At any point, I can also open that up and click Convert to Organization View, and then that will open it up for others within my company to be able to see it as well. Now, as you can see, I could have several different views, and these become my live calendars for my schedules. So here I have an all task calendar. This includes all tasks across all assignments and all task types. I also have my incomplete tasks. So it's just tasks assigned to me that are incomplete. I also have all incomplete tasks. So tasks assigned to anyone in my company that are incomplete. And that's in a list view. And then of course you always will have your Gantt views and then you can add any additional Gantt views. So I like to see a sales schedule and this is limiting again to just those sales related tasks in a Gantt view, or I might just wanna separate that from my production schedule for the job. So if I open up my production schedule, now it's limiting all of my tasks to the production type tasks. And I can then just see my entire production schedule for this job. And this will carry over to any other job that I'm using the schedule for. I can also then see all of these views in other jobs. I also like to have one that's just to-do list. And this one, uh, I'm leveraging just a to-do task type. As you can see, just that one selected. And I add that to-do task type to any of these items that aren't necessarily on the production schedule or the sales schedule. It's just a to-do list for this particular job and I can keep that separate than leveraging this filter. These custom views can also be created within your task tool here. So if you click on your task tool, you'll notice that you can create your various custom views and any that you'd like to set as your default or the first view that you see whenever you use this tool, you can click on the little star next to whichever one you want as that default. So mine was defaulted to the sales calendar and here is, here are all my tasks across my entire organization funneled into just one calendar. And these are specifically tasks that appear on my customer accounts. So they are specifically sales related. So in the task tool, you have some additional filtering options because it does pull all of your tasks from all of your jobs, your customer accounts, your vendor accounts, and even your organization tasks in one place. If you have any questions about setting up your custom calendar views, please contact your customer success manager, or you can email support at jobtread.com and we will be happy to help.